All right, let's get Dracolacken. So you actually hit RB to travel from your home planet to Earth. Yeah. This doesn't this look like Earth. Select. Well, it kind of looks like Earth, but... Yeah, let's go to... Wait, Antarctica? That didn't look like Antarctica. Uh, the... no. Every level is, looks like Japan. It's it's a non-diegetic map. It, it's a metaphor. That... Dude, we were in the southern Atlantic, according to the to the spot on the map. The Philippines is not in the southern Atlantic. It's it's on the other side of the planet. Well, when he says like that's possible, he basically is saying you're not actually going to go to the Philippines. He's in the Philippines. Okay. You are going to roll Pakatamari. <laughs> right. No, I'm lost again. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Uh, in every level, there's a present uh, from the king, which is like a cosmetic of some kind or something, and he's basically saying, find okay. that while you're down there. It's optional. I love the way oh, we have a timer now. I also yeah, love but... that he frames it. We could believe in you for seven minutes. <laughs> Okay, well, that, that immediately makes more sense. More the sense, but it. still, it's still unintuitive. No, like, I, uh... Oh. This is mostly just a signal to anybody watching at home, if you've never played this game before, I guarantee you it is harder to control than you think. The camera controls are really, like, you can't... The quick turn is, um, is oh, very oh, useful. Uh, oh. uh, it's, I think that's pressing. I, I don't know. The analog sticks. Ah, okay. Yeah, so there's like no... There's nothing to actually control the, the camera direction. You just kind of... If I'm, if I'm holding right stick, it, it turns to the left. Right stick forward, it turns to the left. If I'm holding left stick forward, it turns to the right. right. It, it, the controls, like the thumbstick controls are trying to emulate what it would actually be like to roll a gigantic ball, is the idea. Yeah. I don't see the entire version board. Yep, good, good okay, thing. Not really, oh. Oh! oh well, get that candy though. I do love the very specific vibes the collection of items you get gives. Right. It's, it's, it, it feels such like such a specific slice of life uh, of this very particular period of Japan. And by period, I mean like what, 2004, 2003, something like that? Oh, very much. Yeah, exactly. Also, the, the soundtrack of this game is unimpeachable. Oh, yeah. Maybe one of the greatest of all time. So we're putting it on like so the many jet years. set radio level of like. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay. Any idea what this gift looks like? I believe it is literally a small present. Oh god! <laughs> we're crazy lopsided. Oh boy! Ah, oh, it's it's so satisfying. Oh, okay. when it's like you start getting into like a new weight class. That's the other thing that you haven't really seen yet, Josh, is that there's a degree of momentum, and as you get bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, the controls get more and more difficult. Let's see, Doctor. It hasn't been seven minutes. 
So when you hit animals or anything that's moving, it stuns them and you need to roll over them again to pick them up. Ah. You outside now. This has some like some nightmarish implications for when this thing gets big enough to start eating humans. Oh, uh, oh yeah. You don't think that's a thing? I don't know what like I, I'm I, not almost, I don't know it's if not. I want to tell I'm you saying. in case like I, I don't I like I don't know if like how much I want to tell you in case like you play it on your own, but like uh, let's just say people don't want to be picked up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... Hello, sir. I, th I think the next area to go is that side, Joe. Not to tell you. Yeah, there's like a little gate. There's like a little toll gate set up that's like, says like 10 centimeters on it. You want to find that on the edge of the wall and go through it. I think it might have been up at the window. Yeah. Wow. Turning this thing is real. Oh, it's a bear. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. So that's what I deal with every time I'm doing uh, yard work is is a whole just line of fucking horseshoe magnets. It's it's interesting because like a lot of video games are either obviously just abstract or they're kind of representational, but maybe they've like it, it, it's usual to be representational with like a few gestures towards abstract game logic. Like uh, maybe you pick a turkey out of a trash can, but everything looks like a normal street. This game is like right smack dab in the middle, where the environments are kind of naturalistic, but the like. It makes no fucking sense on the micro level. But they still are like... I, the selection of items I, I find fascinating because it's not just like they're mundane everyday items, right? Like, yeah, there are pencils and, and checkbooks and shit, but like... But some of the things they choose not to include... No, no you, you uh, go you for the three minutes for high score. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Like, at, if you get just the minimum size of Katamari, he bitches you out so hard. Right. Plus, you're starting to see the fun part where you start getting pretty big pretty fast. We're almost, uh... Oh yeah, the forks and spoons. Oh yeah. Oh, I found, oh, the, found the presents, I guess. Nice. Yeah, they never really did figure out the health system, did they? What, never figure out the health system? Well, like, the, the game makes gestures towards, there, there's there's some very, I don't know how to phrase this, like, 2004 era prototyping game jammy vibes about the way uh, some of the mechanics here clearly imply a desire to have a more bouncy health system. Like, yeah. like he just said, like when you when you lose the pre don't lose the present because in theory you could get damaged and lose the present. But the odds that that'll happen now, now that it's seventeen or twenty five items under all of our stuff, is like non-existent. Yeah. Also, gotta love that really alarming noise which they deploy really early on. <laughs> Oh, you got some of the meat that was growing on that bush. Oh yeah, the meat bush.
Okay, cool. Uh. It's not. It's not a large star. We got a scarf. The thing that you collected the most of is why Earth really is full of things. We will now release it into the sky. Ba, ba, ba. Toys. I, I love the cheap MIDI celebration music. <laughs> um. Oh, this 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 is a story cutscene. Hi. Oh, a story cutscene. You're saying? Yeah. You get these when you unlock new levels. <laughs> the cause is being investigated. <laughs> oh shit! The cosmos has been collapsed to like us. We're just gonna we're, we'll investigate the cause. You know, actually, this is also the story of Iron Lung. <laughs> I mean, that's not untrue. I can't. I uh. cannot think of two games that have a less integrated theme. <laughs> Then <laughs> Iron Lunk and Katamar Damacy. I'm not holding any controls right now, by the way. We're just walking. Yeah, it's just idle. All right, yeah, yeah, no, RB to go to home planet, to go to Earth again. Or you can equip your scarf, I guess. Oh. What is that? Go to the present. Uh, nothing. It just looks good. Oh, okay. It's cosmetics. Yeah. Madagascar. Make cancer. The, the... As in the constellation cancer. I mean, I don't disagree with him. We need, we need a yummy star. Yeah, no. he's dead crap. Crab sucks, though. Like, <sighs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I no crab is crab is good. Like of the shellfishes, crab is well. Lobster's pretty good too. It's so much work for for so little meat, and and then you feel bad because people boil them alive. No, you kill the crab first with the scissors. Oh, and he looks so sad though. Like that's why that meme went viral. Is he looked so sad and resigned to his demise? Oh, look at this. Many, many, many crabs as you can. You have seven men. We look forward to a mouth water. So is this just exclusively like Calipin. get the crabs? Yes. Uh, crabs will always be hard right. for scoring, but you obviously want to get more than just well, crabs because you need to them to get bigger. Because there are various levels of crap. Like those. Yeah. Oh, that's some crabs. A lot of crabs on land here. Crabs getting stuck in spider webs, which is kind of weird. Dude, are there spiders that prey upon crabs? Probably. I would count it out. Man. As far as I can, as far as I've discovered, there's spiders that prey on anything smaller than like a black bear. <laughs> hey, you now you go. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, the bears! Uh, no. Okay. Well, we're done. Right now. So the thing about this song, just hanging out in frying pans. The thing about this game is that all of the songs sound like they're like classics of the genre, but if you listen, most of them are about this game. I I love the reveal that you are still in the same area from the first level. Yeah. This game's gonna reuse too. the assets because every level looks different with a different play. Like... Oh. Oh, every level looks stuck. different right. if you make some small changes to the layout. Oh, that's a big oh, crab. It's got shoes. Look at the crab <laughs> shoes. Go for the tomato plants with the pots. You gotta shoot Come back here, you. The, the other thing I love is the decisions you just have whenever the King of All Cosmos talks to you. It just dominates your frame in the center of your frame. Yeah, no, it's like, like get he the doesn't fuck give out of a my... shit. <laughs> he does not care that you're doing something right now. It, I love it's that. It's safe to say that he has absolutely no idea what pressure you're under and how difficult this is. And they just continually reinforce the idea that he does not value your time, your struggles, or your process. And again, like, even, even today, like, imagine getting... Microsoft to sign off on a game that just calls you an asshole like this. <laughs> uh, a bunch of tombstones just appeared. Uh, it's like every really get up. every studio which has like which make games that like cost six figures or more to produce has a slideshow somewhere in their like company files in their company directory that tells you not to do this. Like, next to a gigantic, like, like it's like one sentence that tells you, don't do this, on its own slide, with artwork demonstrating why you shouldn't do it. That crab now. Oh, he's running. You gotta be stunned him. Be stunned him. Go back for him. Got him. We got hey, him. Hey, got him. Hello, sir. If I remember right, this level is pretty well timed to prevent you from being able to do all. Like, it ends just before you start being able to do all the really cool stuff. For us mere mortals. Well, no, I mean, like, I don't, you get, literally, it, it caps out, I think, at, what, uh, one meter? Right, right. Because there's no, there's no items, there's not enough items. I got a doggy. Bigger than that, but. Those flowers, that was a... 
Why is there barbershop stuff here? Well, there's a nearby barbershop. Uh. Oh, okay, we can get the pots in here. Ah. This is getting increasingly difficult to control. In a game that is not easy to control to begin with. Can we get those pans? No. Maybe? No, the cast iron. Right, and as we know, iron isn't in stars. You seem a little bitter about the cosmology still being kind of silly. <laughs> Look. I'm just... There's some things about this, this setting that don't make a lot of sense to me. 